So recently I released a video where I was comparing three of the little Lixata folding wood stoves. In two of those stoves I was using wood pellets and in the third stove I used alcohol. And I used the small bowl that comes with each of these wood stoves to put two ounces of alcohol in. And the reason I did that was based on a comment that I had received from a viewer which legitimately he asked why am I bothering to use alcohol, two ounces of alcohol, to get my wood pellets lit when that same two ounces of alcohol would have brought my water to a boil in the right stove. Well, I uh, don't think I was being totally fair to all the alcohol stove users out there. And I, in fact, like alcohol stoves myself. I experimented with a lot of the DIY ones, two of which I'll show you today. And I thought it's, it's only fair that I come back and look at this subject again. Now, I don't want you to th feel that I'm starting to compete with Hiram Cook. There's no way I could match Hiram Cook's expertise and knowledge on alcohol stoves in any way. If you are new to alcohol stoves, I'd highly recommend you check out Hiram Cook's channel. Certainly the master, without question. But I wanted to show you three alcohol stoves and see what they would do with two ounces of alcohol. So let me get set up and I'll show you the stoves, the setup, and we'll start the test and see how long it takes to get them to a boil. So these are the three stoves that I'm going to use. And on the left, I have my Alex burner. It is a knockoff of the Trangia or the Esbit stove and uh, it works quite effectively for me. And of all the purchase stoves, I, I only have actually a couple of these as far as commercially made alcohol burners. I like using this quite a bit. In fact, I pair it with this, the Luxata stove, because the Luxata stove does have a plate designed just for uh, putting the, the alcohol burner in. Now, I've done some tests and I have a video on this where I've used this alcohol stove with this setup and it is quite effective, but uh, rightfully so, people have commented that it's not at the optimal height for standoff from the burners. It's a little less than one inch and people will quote uh, Hiram Cook as saying the optimal height for an alcohol burner is one inch above. So this is just a little uh, lower than the optimal height. But what I have found is that it, uh, it will slow the boil time down a little bit, but it doesn't seem to hurt the efficiency of the stove in terms of the amount of alcohol that it will consume. It just takes a little longer, and I'm okay with that. I'm not about speed at all with these things. So there is my Alux setup. And this one is a homemade uh, pressurized gas stove using a uh, Febreze can, nice aluminum Febreze can and followed some directions you can find easily on the internet and it's uh, there's holes around the outside the little standoffs on top that helps prevent pressurized over pressurization as well as what they call cold pot uh, where you get all suddenly there's a transition in temperature dramatically and it tends to put the stoves out I find that this burns very hot and very fast it doesn't always uh, isn't always as efficient as it could be as, as you would like from a stove but it does work and I often pair this with stoves now one of the things I found is because it's a side burner the flame pattern comes out quite large as you'll see when I get it going if we can see it in the daylight so you have to use a relatively wide bottom pot and I'll show you that pot in a second and my third one and this is my preferred DIY after of all the ones I've played with this one is what's often called the fancy feast stove so it's made with mine in case, this case is made with a small tuna can uh, fiberglass cloth here and a standoff that's made of stainless steel it has a couple of holes in it that are useful for keeping it from over pressurizing so it's got a built-in pot stand and uh, it's not the fastest stove in the world but it is quick efficient and I can use it in cold weather I don't have to, to w wait for it to warm up before I can put my pot on it that is one thing about this stove you have to wait for it to come to a, a bloom before you put the pot on it or at least you should wait for it to come to a bloom so you don't uh, accidentally put the thing out this one you don't have to wait for a bloom but it's better if you do it uh, is not a fully efficient until it comes to bloom hopefully in this light we'll be able to see that if we can't you'll have to trust me that it's happening so what I'm using is methyl hydrate and I'm going to pour two ounces into each of these so two ounces into the fancy feast also referred to as a wick stove because that's in fact what happens the alcohol will soak up through the the wick and burn there two ounces for the pressurized stove a little spill here let that evaporate off and 
two ounces for my Alux stove. All right, got this out of range of the flames. Now I am noticing a bit of a breeze building up here, so I'll end up using the windscreen, I think, but, uh, when I, these things get going. And if I have to reposition the camera so you can see what's taking place, I'll do that, of course. So in each one of these pots, they're aluminum pots, that's why I chose them, so they're all aluminum-based pots. I have two cups of cold tap water. So let's get the three stoves lit. Yep. Yes. And yes. Okay, so we have three stoves lit. We will wait on the pressurized stove if I can, in fact, see it come to a bloom. Sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't. Sounds like it's getting ready to start. It does, oh, there we go, yeah, I can see the bloom. You probably can't. Put that one on. Put this one on, I could put this one on right away because it uh, doesn't require it to come to a bloom, and we'll put this one on. Okay, what I'll do is I'll start the timer on my phone, and as these come to a boil, we'll come back and take a look and see. It's not so much a, a speed test, as I said. Uh, I'm not trying to compete with Hiram Cook in testing. I just wanted to make sure that two ounces of water, or two, excuse me, two ounces of alcohol will bring two cups of water to a boil. And that's what this is all about. So uh, stay tuned, we'll see what happens. Okay, interesting development. Uh, I just checked my pots and at about six and a half minutes, I noted that my fancy feast has gone out. Water is hot, but did not come to a boil. My side pressurized side burner has gone out. Water is hot, but did not come to a boil. And that leaves my Alloc stove, which is still burning hot. Water is hot, and looks like it's about to come to a boil. Well, I'm a little disappointed in my Fancy Feast and the other one, especially the Fancy Feast, because I like using that. I like the fact that it's a slow burning, uh, works in cold weather stove, but uh, I guess you can't always get everything you want. I still enjoy using this, it's just not uh, obviously as fuel efficient as some of the others. So at this point, it looks as if the Alox, if it does bring two cups of water to a boil, will win. Well, let's stay tuned and see what happens. Okay, the last stove in the running was the Alox stove over here sitting in the Luxata, and it has gone out. There's still a little heat rising off it, but obviously I shouldn't be able to hold my hand here. The water got hot, but did not come to a boil. All right, I think we've seen enough now to close this up with a few comments. Okay, so what are my closing comments? Well, it was a little bit disappointing, to be honest. I had expected, or at least hoped, that the Alloc stove would use uh, just two ounces of alcohol to bring water to a boil, but it didn't. Close, but that's not good enough. You know, I've never really measured how much alcohol it takes to bring the water to a boil in these stoves. I usually just pour quite a bit of alcohol in and uh, wait until it comes to a boil. And I like doing that with the Alox because if I have more alcohol in there than is required, I can just cap it like a Trangia stove, save the, the alcohol for later. Well, I don't know. It doesn't look as if, at least with the three stoves I've tried, that two ounces of alcohol will bring two cups of cold tap water to a boil. Maybe there is a stove out there that'll do it. For me, I'm not interested in, in, in finding that stove because these are the three stoves I like to use, primarily the Alox and then backed up by the Fancy Feast style stove. But again, if you're interested in finding a stove that will burn or will bring two cups of water to a bowl using two ounces of uh, alcohol, Hiram Cook is the man to see. All right, short test. Hope it was something of value to you. If it was, maybe you'll consider subscribing to my channel. And in the meantime, Get out and explore. Take a path that you've never traveled on before. It will make all the difference. Bye for now.